to xy plane for the c axis cut and then make sure the coordinate systems of the process same as what you select the y xy plane For the depth, if, if you're not sure, we can reconfirm by doing this. Let's say I'm going to put 100 over here. For the clear, I'm going to use the alt key, select this one point from this face. That's 38 minus 38.1 and the clear also the same. The depth, depth. The starting depth we will put at this level, that is minus 60. The ending depth we will put at this, the back face, uh, minus 98, we make it minus 100. And the down pass for the roughing process, uh, I'm going to choose 10 mm. So we are, we are cutting four pass. The rest of the par parameter no need to change, keep it the same. And then I'll select this contour here. If you can move your profile uh, and to get the section that you want, right? So I'm going to put something here and select this contour at this location over here and then select to it to create the C axis cutting. Next we're going to simulate the C axis cut, go to simulations. And before uh, start let's do some things. Uh, I'm gonna change the setting again. I'm going to change this uh, thread to a circular thread and click apply then close and I'm also going to set uh, make sure this use option is stop option is on and I'm going to set the stop uh, stop at uh, process number 7 uh, sorry operation number 7 then I will fast forward the simulations. You, you can see now the the thread it becomes a circular thread, not a helix thread because because I changed the setting to a circular thread. If you use a circular thread a non-helix thread option, the simulation will be faster. It will be faster. Now I'm going to slow down the simulation speed and play to simulate the cutting of the C-axis. If you zoom up the simulations and uh, look at this area here, there's a marking over here. This marking is caused by the finishing operations. Yeah. So we need, need to do something on this. Let's close. And go back to the finishing operations. This, this is the one. Let's go home view. If because our finishing operation cut this area uh, to to zero, 
yeah, because there's no no stock remaining. There's no finishing top stock. Cut to the zero at this area. So we're going to do something here, and uh, we're going to change the end features of the finishing to this line, and we will extend this out, maybe three mm. So that uh, we will leave a uh, point around point two mm material over here for the C axis cut, and then click redo. Okay, now let's going back the do the simulations. Fast forward. Let's fast forward. You can see now the finishing at this location. There's no marking because the cutter still have a, a remaining stock material around 0.2 to cut. Next, we're going to create a C axis trail. Make sure the operation 9 empty space is selected. Delete this uh, process. And we're going to load the, the drill process number 7. Uh, this is a tool that we're going to use the drill. And before we uh, do anything, of course, we need to change the coordinate system to XY and edit the process. Change the coordinate system to X, Y also, and we're going to use a rotary mill. Uh, copy seven times, 45 degrees. Uh, drill depth, we're going to the clear height. We'll, we'll use the Alt key, select this point over here. We're going to use the same clear for the exit also. And for the starting. For the start, uh, for the drill start, we're going to start at this phase, and then we're going to end at at the back. Use the odd key and change this one to minus one hundred. Okay, and I'm setting my retract to three mm. I'm using rapid out, in and out. Okay, after setting the drill parameters, the next step is to choose the circle, which one you want to drill. I'm going to select this circle here and select do it. And this is my drilling process. Next, I'm going to simulate the drilling process. Set my start stop to stop at uh, operation 9 and fast forward. And then reduce the uh, uh, speed for the drilling. You can see that uh, each time that uh, the it will retract to 3 mm first before you, you start to drill. This is quite funny. Right? It looks like it's quite funny. Uh, to solve this problem, we can uh, do edit, the stop, and double click the drill process. We will change the retract back to this 38.1 and redo. And let's simulate again. Fast forward. Reduce the speed. And now I think the drill is okay.
is not going back to the 3mm. Next, uh, we will post all these operations into G code, select post, and just click this icon to select a post. And make sure you you already download the post from the